Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And we are in Morocco, and I'm with my son, Charlie, because this is Sand Raiders 2024. We did it last year and the year before, and he seemed to really enjoy these videos. But I'm gonna divide this year's event into two videos, I thought, because the number of people competing has grown to the heady heights of 154 bikes contained in here and there's some fantastic bikes here. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the video in two parts. This one, I'm gonna give you a tour around the paddock because there's some pretty cool there's stuff some here, isn't cool there? Stuff here. Especially your bike, isn't it? You keep yeah, telling well, me that's course. the coolest one here. Cool. So we're gonna look still around our coolest. bikes. Yeah, can't, can't <laughs> get away from Charlie's. And then we'll look at some of the other stars in the car park. And then part two is when the Sand Raiders proper starts tomorrow and you'll join us on 1,400 kilometers of amazing tracks down the south end of Morocco and we're coming up finish up the beach to Agadir is where we're based here this is the start tomorrow but let's just start with the bikes yeah come on Charlie tell me what you've oh, done no, to go your on. Bike. I want to hear about yours first Do you want to hear about this yes. well this is my Yamaha TT 600 which I used last year and I have made a few mods to this I know. actually yeah minor stuff quarter exhaust seems a bit weird but it was a bit barky the other one and I thought it was original exhaust. This is 1983 TT 600. So yeah, it had a bark exhaust. I've quieted down there. I've made the foot pegs bigger. They're a bit odd, early bikes. They tend to have these little tiny foot pegs. And this looks a slightly odd shape, but it's because it folds in like that. So I've modified that. Uh, I've put spacers in the suspension because it was quite soft on the suspension. Um, it's a big tank this thing I measured it's 28 litres it holds and that was adding more weight the bike is actually heavier than it was when it left the factory because we added that starter motor I'm very grateful to David Lambert who built this engine for last year and it was push button and it was fantastic so minor little mods and on it and he adjusted your front brake and I now have a front brake I am the only competitor in 154 bikes who retains a drum front brake so I will not yeah, I'm going to be keeping a decent distance from everybody else when they have to show off disc brakes, but I, this is proper original. But you'll get to hear more about this bike as we go around. Charlie, what's, what, do we have to look at this? We do, yeah. we do have to look at this. Well, well, this is the one that fell apart, wasn't it? It did it was, fall apart. Yeah. You discovered Loctite, I hope, haven't I you? I have what, discovered. So that was, yeah. that was the main thing from last year. Got yeah. home, had a long list of parts that then needed yeah. to be ordered again. Yeah. So I did put a new front disc. Uh, yeah, it, did. it, this decided to detach itself, the disc, the didn't whole, it? It wasn't, it, wasn't it wasn't just the disc, it was the caliper. The whole caliper well. yeah, got wrapped around. It just, was, yeah. The whole a, thing, everything it was just a nightmare. Fell off it. Yeah. So ended up getting, obviously, new pads, new disc, uh, front and rear. Uh, so, yeah, Loctite was obviously involved in all of that. Yeah. New foot pegs. Pegs the same. Yeah, it's yeah a, same as well. It's one of those things we both do. noticed from last year. Yeah. Just, they, chewed, well, they chewed through your che boots, they didn't did. they? They did. Yeah. Um, minor things. I put a new front sprocket on. Engine. Uh, wasn't there a little ticking yeah, there, there was the noises yeah. coming from your bike, wasn't So there? we did uh, rebuild the top end of my engine. Top end, yeah. Um, and, you, and you've only got one of these to start it with, haven't you? Yeah, so, well, that was one of the things. There are a few bikes this year that do look quite similar to this. Yeah, and I am the only one that is a genuine 600 R. So it is yeah. the only kickstart one here. So you're the only real like man here. So I you? am. Yeah, there's um, quite a few other kickstart bikes here before we start making out. This is the only one with a kickstart. But then had to sort a load of wiring out. So I've yeah. got new switches. So hopefully I've now got horn and hope so. lights and everything like that. Not that the lights any good, but no, we right. went round this. Uh, fork seals. Yeah, so now, this is going to hold together this year. Hopefully. This is what we're hoping. Yes. We ought to just quickly, 150 whip bikes. round the bike. We cannot get through all. This is, we owned one of these before. This is quite, a, it's the XL600 LM. We did this in the first year. And this is your first sort of electric start Honda. For if you want a, a sort of period Dakar bike or what to do sand raiders in this is a, a good starting point i move away and to the yamaha because it's lighter this is 174 kilos on my scales my bike went 140 kilos but that has electric starts and your bike went 136 36. kilos so significantly lighter than this bike but it's a good starting point but yeah, there are other bikes here you could move to. There is a number of Yamahas. Oh, I should know the number. I'll flash up the numbers now. 
Is it 39 Yamaha's 58? We'll Honda, have a look. Somewhere yeah. around there. I'll flash it up. But that is a 600. There, lot of Suzukis this year. A lot of DRs. DR. DRZ. Water cooled, more modern bike. Yeah. Not really in keeping, but very popular, very light, and there are. It has its fan base. But I think we ought to see some of the modded bikes here, yeah. shouldn't we? The ones that really are in the spirit of Sand Raiders. A couple of really interesting bikes here. Both British bikes. I haven't seen either of these bikes before on Sand Raiders, but no. nicely modded. This is a classic. This is the XT600 in the Tenere colours, Gulwars. This is how we remember them in Dakar in period. Quite interesting. He's got a suede seat, so I'm really quite Love jealous. It. Yeah, of very. That. And all yeah. that. Is that yeah. stitched in? It's all stitched in. That's yeah. It's just, yeah, unfair. But anyway, we might have a look at that. Lots of spares on this car. Spare fuel, um, inner tube, and then stuff here. All the it's all the cable levers. Ties. And Is it, oh, yeah, first it's got aid a lever there as well. Yeah, there yeah. Are. First aid kit. Don't know what's hiding in there. Torch, yeah. And then this is a tower. This is a, a later edition, tower. obviously not what you would have in the period, but then you get the trick lights. And then if you come round, you can just see, you can then put your navigation units there, timers and things, log some. This is the beacon we've put on. Nice, nicely done. I sort of how I'd love to see Sand Raider bikes, real load of effort gone into this. And then and there's then, this yeah, one, isn't it? This is XR 650L. So it's got a starter motor. So it's just later uh, than yours, isn't it? Again. No, it doesn't know. No, they're don't all. Think so. No, they can be about the same age as mine. Uh, yeah. Rear disc, so it's sort of a bit later. A bit later. Uh, obviously had the frame painted sort of bro like goldy bronze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of spares on this one. Look, tire levers down here. Yeah. Yeah. Black well, he's rims. had the battery moved, and I'd love to know what these events, what what bikes, what? well, what events these bikes go off and do. Well, whether it's just sand raiders, maybe they're just being built for sand raiders. Yeah. We're fine as the times go on. Fuse boxes here and a and a tower as well. Yeah. No, but obviously prepped by people who know what they're doing i think so yeah but there is actually a dakar bike here there's a ktm over there yeah. that is a pucker dakar bike i think we ought to go and have a look at that so late <laughs> night oh dear yes day. yeah Thank right it's got burritos, electronics. everything wow all uh, the yeah yeah anyway yeah. we'll see you there you go. That's a uh, legendary mechanic on San Raiders and also does Dakar out in Saudi. Met him out there as well. And there's a cylinder head coming off a bike there because valves have met pistons. That is a busy first day when the event doesn't even start till nine o'clock tomorrow and they're doing an engine strip there. But I wanted to show you this. This is a, a proper KTM works Dakar bike. And the story behind this one, I've been told, I'll find out more, I think it's Spanish fully prepped to do Dakar in the year it was produced, went out to Dakar and either the rider had an injury, he had a, some condition he could not take part. So it never actually did Dakar. So it's, it's sort of factory fresh and ready to do this. Obviously it's been ridden since, but just so you can see a proper Dakar. All the controls, isn't it? As well, it's well, all yeah. the controls. Oh, this is the road, but this is how they use it. They have these buttons to actually control to scroll this is the instructions you get set your trips and checkpoints all the trips so you can reset there if you miss the one and you have to go back that's all on there it's got the same thing as us but the main thing is the amount of fuel it carries this is 650 i would imagine wasn't it single i we don't well, know 660r 660r so that was regulations single center but an enormous amount of fuel so two fuel tanks at the front two fillers there i can see a see-through gauge here which you can't see it's just down here that's how you can tell how much fuel is in it and then we come around to the back two more fuel tanks here so huge amount of fuel on this you lift this off this is where all the battery air cleaner or anything sparks well, the air cleaners up here isn't it you can see it well you take the you seats see off don't you to get at everything that's all in there but this is the tower those other bikes were replicating this is what a true dakar bike has nice bike. it is a nice bike isn't it yeah really good nice to see yeah what have we got here charlie oh uh, we've got two 650rs both look very different but underneath they are the same Big, what these two here yeah both kickstart water cooled big thumpy oh, right. things so yeah, yeah obviously proper rally tower kicks. well these guys have done it for the last three years yeah he's least, quite good they? this guy yeah they that's are, that's yeah. there that's 22 so there yeah. you go stick for 22 there 23 there and then 24, 24 there. yeah here. side yeah well, that's quite nice on that 650r all that riveted air filter oh here there that's quite yeah. nice yeah 
So that's just no. moved on. So that was the next stage, wasn't it? To go water cooled after yeah. yours. Another XL. Another XL. We quite like this one. This guy, he's done it a lot, this guy. Yeah, there's a Sand Raiders 2019 and had this strange idea of covering all the plastics in a sort of, what was it, sort of hide? So, yeah, you know, can't was, quite call it leather. No, he, it's known as the Hermes bike, this yeah, one, yeah. isn't it? Because it, it's leather lined and it's the, he's, he's a good guy, this one. He's very experienced, um, but yeah, it's instantly recognisable anywhere. It's the only leather covered yeah. bike I know out there. Yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, we've got the KTM, we're not looking at that. There's one like yours, Charlie. One like mine. British, yet to meet them. Very envious. They've got a lovely got, spot lamp on yeah, the front of it. You'll have to show very that. Cool. Yeah, you'll have to show that. Yeah, because you get a tiddly little headlight that yeah, is absolutely I do useless. Like, I do like this sort of grill on it. <laughs> it's I think utterly it's, useless. Yeah, it's one, pointless. Might as well just use your phone as a torch. But yeah, he's pointless. got the spot. But, but no, it's nicely prepped though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, again, another L, so it's got electric start on it. I don't actually uh, see them. Can we have a quick like look at the Cove? The new. It's like. Because that is the way that Dakar is sort of going, isn't it? For the privateer. It's well, a ready to go rally raid bike for sort of 14, 15 grand. Yeah, it's less than half price of a KTM, yeah. isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. So that is a rally raid Chinese bike. They have a good rep. I've seen tests of them and people rate them, don't they? They're, yeah, they, they seem, seem to work to. well. Well, they had it in the workshop earlier and they had it stripped. But yeah. I, I don't know whether that was out of sheer curiosity yeah, by could be. the others. But that is a well, off-the-shelf rally raid Dakar bike. Very affordable. This isn't though. No. What on earth's going on here? Well, this is the BMW. Oh, this is the BMW, right. He's got saddle tanks as well. Right, German bike, so he's got extra fuel in there as well. They have a fuel tank down here, isn't it? Something on these. I don't know. I'm out. I don't know this bike. Water cooled. So obviously does quite a lot of work. We ought to have a look at some three or four BMWs here this year, isn't there? There's, There's one, one there. The one There's that one over there. That's Pascal the, the, from last Pascal. year. Pascal, yeah, he went round. I was I was amazed he came on it again because he struggled on some sections because they were bloody tough on a bike like this. And then he rocked up in it again, which is great to see. This is just my only bike. Of course I bring the BMW. <laughs> but there's some really nice BMWs yeah. here as well. But yeah, we'll be talking to yeah. him, I'm sure, what as we go What does it weigh? Uh, that would be about 210 kilos. Really? Something like that. Yeah. Right, let's have a look down here. Yeah, we also just features a friend of ours did this bike. It's changed completely since we last saw it. It was a well, it was a standard XR 650L last year, yeah. so it was bog standard. And then and he found this tank. And he said, "Oh, I like the tank." And then from that, it turned into this nightmare because he wanted to use a tank, and then he had to make his own seat, and then he had to make different mounts for it. And he moved his battery box. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's all now on show. You don't normally see any of this normally because the tank all covers it. We're very, we're intrigued how f well he gets on, aren't we? Really, yeah. with that. But um, yeah, we want look. him to do well, but he's done a lot of welding himself. He, he's a bit worried he about his he welding. Doesn't back isn't his he? welding. Yeah. These are good, aren't they? These two are very, very smart. Marks. Yeah, the dominators. But they've got this new upright bearing. This is the, yeah, yeah. They've the been rally prepped. I mean, the that engine's basically the same as the XR 650 engine, but they're. The NX Dominators were a little bit more roady, so they're right. a bit heavier, like they've got twin exhausts oh, uh, right. and they're just a bit more friendly for dual sport purposes, really. So, no, but good to see. They don't quite have the same uh, suspension travel and Yeah, like yours that. sits yeah. much higher than this, yeah. don't they? But really lovely things, they electric look, start, and they do look the part. They really, look really, really, really nice. good. I think this is one of the only Kawasaki's here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I haven't seen any other Kawasaki's no. here. He says he has to, yeah, I know the guys, the Spanish guy rides this, rides it very well. See it, he's done nearly every Sand Raiders. Yeah. But it's odd, there aren't that many Kawasaki's, Kawasaki's here for no. some reason. Well, Just there was that one last year, it. wasn't there? That uh, Army Spec KLR. Oh yeah, there was that, yeah. that one where he said, oh, well, that won't get round. And we, we discounted that the guy who rode it, Mark, is a bloody good rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He charges us through everything. Yeah, let's see what's over here. We have to show this one, don't no, we? No, it's lovely, this isn't is lovely. it? Really, really lovely. This it's wasn't here last year because we saw it in 22. We did. Nicholas in the background, French guy, lovely guy. He's passionate about Sand Raiders and this bike and Honda, everything about Everything them. Honda. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, original things from Unbelievable Dakar. collection yeah. of stuff. Yeah. 
but the engine went on it and he's completely rebuilt it for this year you will not find a better looking 500r pro link so this is a 1983 bike which is the same age as mine I, there are the two oldest there's four 1983 bikes here we're not sure quite which is the oldest one but they're all 83 and it's beautifully done this one yeah kickstart only though isn't it in 80, yeah 83 but it's just the super rare bits like all the plastics on it super hard to come by that trip meter as well is hens teeth. i want i want one of those i want one of those you, too. yeah you have a trip yep. there as well as speedo that only came on the r and early yeah. early doors no lovely lovely thing and he was telling me that's the first year with a disc brake as well so 1983 the first year that arrived on it very nice and this is a rare sight as well to see this bmw i was just talking to the owner it's it's a r80 gs paris dakar and this is actually an even bigger tank that you get as standard i have one of these bikes it's a huge tank but this is a modded tank and it has more volume the other thing about it a thousand cc he's done uh, he's done sand rays before, but I don't saw on this bike. I think it's what. Did he do a thousand cc? Ah, uh, he did another. He did another event. Yes. Yeah, so this is. I think this is the first time it's been to a sand raiders in Morocco. This bike. So I'm really intrigued to see how that one goes because it sort yeah. of looks vaguely standard, other than a thousand cc. He hasn't got a trick shock absorber on there, is he? I'm not sure. Uh, Doesn't. So, yeah. He, this side. Is there? Yeah. They just don't have the suspension travel. So. But he's going to have the fuel. Whatever happened, he's never going to run out of fuel with a tank that size. Is there any others we ought to look at? There's an Africa twin over there. We ought to have a quick look at that. Yeah, and the Africa twin there. Yeah. Cool Dominator with all the well. Camel yeah, we like this one. We livery. love the colours of that. Again, yeah, it's the same bike as those perfectly prepped ones up there, but just in a different scheme. Or just a different look. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Dominator. So that's electric start. Yeah. Electric start yeah. on it as well. Really nice looking at that camel. This one is slightly I know. It's odd. such a, a bit of a shame. Yeah. It's a proper RDO3 Africa Twin. Yeah. So white it's... frame, 650. Yeah. But no colour. But no colour, no. Sort of primer grey. And a, yeah, and a big screen on it as well. There's a 750 here as well. If you yeah, an RDO down here. four. Yeah, later That's quite an twin interesting discs. paint job. Is a, yeah. I do like his lights though. Suzuki, no, just look at the paint on this. Add gas here. Yeah, wake me up when in I'm in tree. <laughs> yeah, lots of prep on that one. Anyway, we're going to look at this one. This is a very shiny, very lovely. RDO yeah, four. I was just saying, Africa I love twin. the love the lights on it. Yes, those, that's a modern cool. a modern look, isn't it? Higher screen on it. Yeah, big and, foot but pegs. still with the traditional colours on it that, that the early ones had. Old faithful. Yeah, old faithful. That always comes. The French guy. Look at the, look at the bent rim on it. Oh, well, I don't think he's changed his tyre since last year. No, he'll get another year out of that, I'm sure. And right, then round here. There's this lovely BMW, another 1,000cc bike, and also with the extended headstock, so rally prepared here as well. You can see on here, you have all the trippy on it, all ready to go whenever you want to do various events. That is an enormous tank. Is that, that the same is as... That is a colossal tank. Is that the I same as the no, last one? No, I think that might be bigger. I think that one's bigger. It's a slightly Huge. later bike, but yeah, another great bike to see at San Rays. I love these big bikes. They're the bruisers. They're the ones yeah. we had in the 80s. What have we got down here? Lovely Super 10 cool wires colours. Very nicely prepped. God, it's endless, isn't it? Another, well, um, it's just TC sort of XTs and XRs and TTs, isn't I've it? I just realised we had John, who's holding the camera, also has a Yamaha and we haven't featured it. I'm about to be hit over the head with a camera. <laughs> I forgot. Shall we just go home and look at yours, John? I, I think yeah, we, I think we need to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this one. It's this one, isn't it? Now, this yes. is a late uh, TT600R. Oh, e. And it's called E because it's got electric start. Yeah, electric start there. And this was, I think, was made for Italian market. They're super rare. Belgarda edition. Belgarda, it's called. But they're worth searching out one of these if you can find one because they're spec. And I think they came with Olin suspension as standard. And is it up there? You can see the orange? I'm not sure. Just about see a yellow spring in there. Yeah. And the other nice thing, it doesn't actually have side panels, 
so you can come round John I've got a separate oil tank on mine but I have to take all the side panels off to get to it here you've got that and you've got a little thing there so you can see how much oil if it gets low this has had extended foot pegs as well you can see how that's been opened up as well but it yeah. looks super lightweight it does look very light yeah well, it's sort of got a rear sub frame coming off here oh, and things yes. like that it's oh yes yeah, so it has yeah and I think it's got an alloy swinging arm as well which mine is mine is alloy as well isn't it so it just looks different it's yeah. odd there's quite a number of years how many what age is it 2000 and 2002 2002 right so gosh 20 years yeah. younger than my bike but same engine it's just developed to that stage yeah that's, that's an earlier one over there isn't it that's had that's had quite a life but well, it's got, again, a rally tower and French. Yeah. It's got your favourite features. Oh, it's got the extended front mudguard. Yeah, that, that's another hen's teeth part. And uh, yeah, I'd love that. So it extends the site so you get less if you're doing sand events or something like that. Apparently, that's a good thing. There you go. Well, we could go around this car park. There are could. so many bikes yeah. in here we could feature. But it just gives you a flavour of the sort of bikes you find at Sand Raiders 2024. Tomorrow, big day. We're we'll off. go our kit. Yeah. yeah. 1,400 kilometres. And you'll be joining us on the trip. Who knows where? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.